Oh my gosh, version 32, am I right? Under the join now tab, you might see looking for players and then you can click find players and it starts a group game. Here you can see that we're waiting for people to fill out these plus symbols. We can start the game early once we have some players in here. We can also leave the group. The group looks kind of like a party symbol on your top right. You can also see some suggested worlds to go and visit. We can continue using our menu and it stays open. We can always return to the group by clicking over here and you can again see the group. We can also check out information about the world we're going to visit. Looking for more colors? Click on the drop down menu and after the palettes you'll see manual color sliders where you can choose the hue and then choose the saturation and value that you would like for that hue. And obviously this is a little bit more refined so you can see the color as you're going along. So you can choose like a deep red or really just any color along the spectrum. Very cool. In other news, on your values tab, you're gonna find pi. They said, let's have pi. <laughs> pi is a constant value that is 3.14 with a bunch of other numbers. You can now utilize this without having to type it in and it's way more accurate than we were able to get before. This is awesome. Thanks for giving us pi. The biggest change you'll notice is the dotted line that appears around the object to let you know that you have it selected. And now you can pull it out and you'll see the dotted line extends into the world. And you can also see it on other objects as well as menus. Have you been meaning to turn your name tag back on? Or how about off? Well, now if you go to your settings section, there's a new name tag function where you can turn your creator name tag on and off. Physics objects can now have custom gravity. If we hit play, you'll see that they can go in all sorts of directions. You can mix these together. It's super cool. And be sure to check out the link in the description to see how we made this awesome balloon bridge that rises up using custom gravity. We now have the ability to play haptics on player controllers. This is super useful for providing player feedback, and we've even added it to the jet skis at the mansion. And you're definitely gonna wanna check out the haptic gun tutorial. Are you ready for local scripting? As a general overview, it enables us to run scripts on the player's headset. This enables snappy effects like haptics, sounds, and visual effects like the one seen in the haptic gun tutorial, or even more advanced, you can use it to create a heads-up display for tracking your current score and other awesome stats in your world. For more on that, check out the heads-up display breakdown video. You'll also want to hit subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when our Local Scripting 101 video comes out later this month. We're going to have tons of great information to get you up and running making your own awesome local scripts. In the meantime, you can find several documents provided by the Horizon Team linked in the description. One associated doc came with its own world. Be sure to check out the throwing demo world in Horizon to learn more about the possibilities behind local scripts. This world and associated document were created by Martin Schubert, who is the genius behind the plaza's boomerangs and airplanes, even including samples in this demo world. If you find any other secrets in version 32, be sure to leave them down in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in Horizon. Bye!